Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video I will introduce to you lossless scaling version 2.12. It has just been updated with a new feature called resolution scale. A very useful new feature. I will test with the game AC Mirage first. I am using very high graphics settings, but my FPS is still quite high, around 8x to 9x FPS, so I will lock my FPS at 40 FPS to test with lossless scaling. Lossless scaling version 2.12. Scaling type doesn't have much impact on the game. My usual choice is LS1. With this version, there is only one option left, LSFG 2.3. I will try with by 2 mode first. And here is the resolution scale option, I will try with it later. For now I will use the default of 100%. Turning on the performance option helps you lose less native FPS when scaling. Sync mode is off allow tearing for best smoothness. Max frame latency can be set as 1 to 3. I choose 1 the smaller the value the better. Capture API is usually DXGI. Okay, now scale. My FPS was doubled with by 2 mode FPS is displayed in the top left corner. Sorry it's a bit hard to see, I couldn't find a way to turn off the game's overlay. At 80 FPS from lossless, my gameplay is quite smooth. But it still has the same tearing problem as the previous version. The tearing flickering problem was only apparent when I moved the camera high speed. With normal operations, the problem of tearing does not appear much. Try with by 3 mode. Lossless scaling is active. I'm getting 120 FPS from 40 native FPS. The game is very smooth. The tearing problem seems to be the same. With normal operations when playing games, I think the tearing problem does not affect much. Now let's try buy for mode.
FPS has been quadrupled, 160 FPS from 40 native FPS. The game is very smooth, I'm not sure if tearing is increased. Anyway, if you really need more FPS, it will be useful. Now I will experiment with the new feature, Resolution Scale. It will help you lose less than native FPS when scaling. As I said, my FPS is quite high and I have some problems with CPU load when recording, so I still lock the FPS at 40. But please pay attention to the GPU consumption. It is about 50 watts in by for mode when resolution scale is not enabled. I will set the resolution scale to 50. Now let's see the results. I'm using by for mode. And now please look at the GPU power consumption. It's reduced to about 43 watts. It has reduced 7 watts. When not using resolution scale it is 50 watts. This means you will lose less native FPS when setting resolution scale to 50 or any other value lower than 100. Isn't that great? The tearing problem, it seems to be the same as when not using resolution scale. Smoothness is still good. In case you cannot keep your native FPS above 30 or stable at 40 when scaling, resolution scale will be very useful. When you play the game not tested like me, I think it's quite impressive. Lossal scaling to 0.12 does a great job with resolution scale. The great thing is that you can combine resolution scale of lossless scaling with in-game upscaler like FSR or DLSS. Resolution scale is great, but does it affect the detail and sharpness of the game? I will show you. Currently I am using resolution scale, with a value of 50. I will turn off lossless scaling with the keyboard shortcut, let's see if there is any difference. Lossless scaling is turned off, it seems that lossless and resolution scaling do not have any significant effect on the detail and sharpness of the game. I play it at slow speed, please watch it again. It is difficult to notice any difference in graphics, it can be said that resolution scale does not reduce the sharpness and detail of the game. To sum up, lossless scaling to 0.12 is a very good update. The resolution scale feature will give you more reasons to use lossless scaling. In my previous tests, it was possible to lose up to 38% native FPS when using by for Mo, and that has now been reduced. There is still the tearing issue, hope the developer continues to work on it. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe to support the channel.